Okay, in today's tutorial, I will be showing you guys on how to download GTA 5 add-on pads. So let's get right into it here. Oh, but before I do, sorry, um, I would like to emphasize one thing, and that is that I'm also going to be showing you guys on how to spawn them as NPCs too, which I know for many of you guys, you guys just want to beat NPC, or I'm sorry, you guys just want to beat add-on pads, but I will add that little sidestep um, at the end of the video too, so... Uh, that's just something that is for that, that is for people who want to, um, you know, spawn the NPC variants of the add-on pets. But you know, it is highly unlikely as most people, like I said, they want to beat them. They don't want to spawn an NPC variant of them. So without further ado, let's get right into it here. So download your add-on if you're choosing. Then go under your downloads. You just see a zip file. Unzip it with WinRAR or 7-zip. And then open up the folders. And again, a lot of these add-on pets they have a lot of different attires too. So in my case, I'm only going to use one because with my method, it only works with one. But if you want to download multiple, let's say if you want to download say A, B, and C, I'd recommend you click off this video and watch the add-on pets installation because that one will allow you to um, pretty much install all three of these in the game, whereas mine is just limited to one. So I want to emphasize that right now because if you have that in mind, I think you should just click off the video. But if you have the one that I have in mind, then keep watching, I suppose. So for me, I'm just going to choose that scene. And here is how it should look like. You should have four little files here. So then what you would do is you would go to open four. Okay, control F3. Type in UFY if you're doing a female and UMY if you're doing a male. And this pretty much stands for a universal... I guess young female or something like that. But once you do that, there will be a ton of results. And I'm just going to stop here because that honestly is going to render a lot. But I want to specify something too. So you can only download um, or you can only replace certain in game characters too. So for the ones that have uh, no names like bikerchick.ydd, these you can replace. But if you want to replace Hotpotch 01, you can't because there are multiple variations. In my case, I'm just going to choose Poppy Mitch. And if you have a specific file in mind, like for instance, mine is going to be Poppy Mitch, that's even better because you can filter it. And again, this is optional. Okay. Okay, cool. So I also want to clarify one more thing too, because when you do these kind of add-on pets, it's a very, very specific process. You can't just do any process, you know, otherwise you'll mess up your game and all that. So one thing to note is that, you know, first off, it depends, you know, if you want to download a mod version, so be it. If you want to download on the update or the vanilla version, and it doesn't matter, um, both of them, you know, will work regardless. So just choose either mods or update when you replace it. And another thing too is that where you where you replace it is also important because you cannot place it under these kind of files, the xx v the RPF, because these are the in-game versions. These are the, the original ones, and therefore they won't work because they're they are sort of generic as well. They're not very very unique and specific as the add-on pads are generally uh, characterized as. So you have to go for ones that have DLC packs. This one only has one, so this will be MP Patch English, so you can choose this one as it is the only one. Or for this one, if you want to do the update, which is which is again the vanilla version, you can do MP Battle or MP Patch English, because again, all these DLC um, things they all share the same thing too, so it doesn't matter. So for me, for instance, I'm going to choose um, the only one for mods, so I'm going to choose the one that has mods and that has MP Patch in English. Make sure it has a uh, DLC packs too. That's very very important. If you don't have it, you're kind of screwed. But then there are four different different types of files. Um, the YDD is a render of the game character. So here is the character. Uh, the YFT ignore, YMT ignore also, and you can ignore this one too. But this one pretty much uh, shows you the, um, the texture files of the character and all that. Okay, so assuming you at this point that you have found the exact model that you want, again, mine's is Poppy Mitch. And I'll make it mine's even more specific. You don't have to do this stuff too. This is just for me to make it more nice and pretty and all that for myself. What you would do then is you would pretty much copy name, and you would essentially 
go back to your um, downloaded files here or the modded files and you would just rename them. So instead of AJ casual C, it will be poppy midge.ydd. And you're doing the same thing for all of them. And the only thing you're changing is the YDD. So make sure, you know, so I'll show you right now actually. So copy or delete the casual C, copy, paste, and make sure you delete the YDD because there's already a YDD file. The whole point is you want a YFT, a YDD, a YTD, and a YMT. Because if you don't have those four, uh, this model will not work at all. So let's do the last one here. Okay, so there, it should look something like this. It should be the name that you want, Poppy Mitch, right? You you have Y Poppy Mitch, and there should be a YDD file, YFT, YMT, and a YTD. And all you're going to do is drag these four. And you can close the search right away. You're going to drag these four files into the default version and once again make sure it's uh, DLC packs. And now let's check out the rendering and all that to make sure. This is how it looks like um, before you enter the game and how it will look like in game. So this is more of a double checking process and again this is also optional as well. You can, you can skip on whatever. Okay so as you can see here are the files now. Again, all the texture packs are clustered together, so it looks kind of wonky, but you can obviously, like, you know, remove some layers and it'll look much better, I suppose. And here's also the texture packs, too. So, yeah, um, I will see you guys when I enter the game version, and I will show you guys how to become the add on pad that you wish that you want to install and how to also spawn them as NPCs. But like I have to reiterate, you know, the NPC version or the NPC method is very, very unlikely as people want to be the NPC, or sorry, as people want to be the add-on pad, they don't want to spawn NPC version of them. Okay, so here's how to become the add-on pads and how to spawn different uh, NPC variants of them. So first you would go to Native Trainer. I would use Menu, but it depends on the preference. The Model Changer. Go down until you see input model and type in the exact file that you had replaced. So mine was U F Y Princess. And I am Ada Wong, I am her. And if you want to clone the same exact version of this character, you would pretty much go back and go to cloning options. And when you do this, the NPCs they will move, they will react like normal NPCs, they're pretty much just reskins at this point. However, let's say you want to spawn uh, the same model but with uh, different clothing or with different alternative attires. What you would do then is you would pretty much find a NPC spawner or something of that caliber. I'm using the bodyguard menu by Jedi Josh, by the way, so it doesn't matter just as long as you can spawn uh, the exact model and all that. But as you can see, the models do get a bit, uh, the NPC models do get a bit glitchy here because that is not their intended function. But anyways. You go to unique model and you would find the file that you had placed. And as you can see, there are now three different variations of it. So, hopefully, that helps you guys out. Comment down below if you need help, and I hope this video helps you guys in general.